Tim Sesnick is the author of a terrific book, 101 Tax Secrets for Canadians, Smart Strategies That Can Save You Thousands. We've been talking all week about uh, tax planning. He is a chartered accountant. He's also the president and CEO of the Water Street Group. He uh, is, of course, the author. And you also, I see your name occasionally in the Globe and Mail. You, do you write a regular column for them? Yeah, I write a weekly tax column in the Globe and Mail and, and do some things for Canada AM and CBC and things from time to time. So this is part of part of what I do. Yeah, you're becoming a bit of a household name in this area, so all, all the better we have you here. Um, we've been talking about um, tax planning strategies. We've, t we've talked about, yesterday we talked about uh, def deferring, deferring, and we talked about dividing, dividing. and we talked about deducting. Uh, deducting, D, D, D. Tell me we have another D today. Yes, we have disguising. Disgu <laughs> now people get worried when I talk about disguising. Yeah. It sounds like we're trying to evade. Cloak you know, and dagger. Yeah, put on a mask and hide yeah. from Revenue Canada. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not what we're talking about doing. It's, it's actually uh, the idea of, of taking one type of income that would otherwise be taxed at a high rate, like interest income, which is always taxed highly, and converting it or disguising it as some other kind of income, like capital gains, which are taxed at a much lower rate, or even better, um, converting it into non-taxable income, so it's never taxed. And so there are ways of disguising, as we call it, um, income. And it's really just converting income from one type to another. Right. And an example of that, um, I'll come back to our charitable donations uh, example. Right. We talked about um, the idea of making donations to charity. Well, you can donate stock or shares or bonds or mutual funds. In other words, marketable investments. You can donate these things to a, a charity. And when you do that, um, it's like you so, you've sold those investments from a tax perspective, and normally that would give rise to some tax, right. maybe a capital gain. But the government allows us to eliminate the capital gain when we donate the stocks or investments to charity. So uh, if for a gift to, to Crossroads, for example, um, of securities, you're going to eliminate the capital gain. So that really converts from what would otherwise be a taxable capital gain into non-taxable income altogether. Mm. So you're entitled to not only eliminate your capital gain, but you also get a donation tax credit on top of that. So you're really getting a double benefit here. So that's one way we can sort of disguise or convert from taxable to non-taxable income. Um, another way we can do this is through certain types of investments today. There are certain types of mutual funds, for example, that will allow you to invest in, effectively invest in bonds, and because some people think that that's the right risk profile for them. But instead of paying tax on interest income, which is very highly taxed, these, these mutual funds are designed to convert that income in a, in a legal way um, through clever structuring, convert that interest income into capital gains. So what you actually receive from the fund are capital gains and not interest. And most mutual fund companies today have a fund like that that does that. So as you think about um, the level of risk you're willing to take on in your investments, don't automatically equate that with a certain kind of tax bill or, or your income because you can separate those two now, which, which makes, makes some sense. Another thing to think about is converting from taxable income to non-taxable by using uh, something we've mentioned before a few days ago, and that is the tax-free savings account. Mm -hmm. Again, you're, you're putting money into these, this plan. Um, you're going to earn interest income or capital gains or dividends. You're not going to pay any tax. You're converting it to non-taxable income. And then you can pull out that income out of that plan later at any time and never pay any tax on it. So, I mean, the, the difference between that kind of a plan in an RSP is you don't get a tax deduction when you put the money in. But you're still converting to a non-taxable form of income. So it just it makes a lot of sense to, to do that. Um, a lot of talk about this new HST. Mm -hmm. What is that? <laughs> what is that? And, and is this a good thing? It's um, basically, uh, we've all lived, lived with the GST for a long yeah. time now. The HST is, applies, it's new in, in British Columbia and new in Ontario this year. It's, it's already been in, in existence in, in, in Atlantic Canada and will probably come into play in other provinces too. What it does is it takes away the GST and replaces it with a new tax an, called the HST or Harmonized Sales Tax, uh, which is a combination of not only the GST but the provincial tax at the same time. It's uh, not likely to be a good thing because you're going to end up paying uh, higher rates of tax on certain things that you didn't have to pay higher rates of tax on right. before. Services, for example, from uh, your accountant or whoever, weren't subject to uh, provincial sales tax before, but now they will be. Yeah, so uh, now everybody's kind of in the same pool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. July 1st is the effective date. July 1, so there you go. Uh, maybe we'll come up with a tax avoidance plan. For, <laughs> for that, I have to think about it some more, yeah. <laughs> Tim, it's been terrific having you. Thanks, Tim. It's been a wonderful week, and uh, looking forward to, to uh, having you again. And again, friends, the book's called 101 Tax Secrets for Canadians. If you, if you want this book, friends, uh, you need to call us or you need to log on, one or the other. Uh, we have a limited number, uh, and we have limited time. 
We don't want you to be disappointed. This is a terrific opportunity to really help you maximize your, uh, your uh, tax planning. And remember your best ministry gift, please, when you ask for the book, and we would so appreciate it. And we certainly value Tim's input. He's terrific.